so me and my son by maybe the title you can guess we're kind of going on a long road trip mental health is a very important topic to whether you're a special needs parent or not everybody needs a mental break and let's just say that being a special needs parent is twice as hard as being a normal parent between the medical appointments and the round-the-clock care and with Sasha and her special needs her accessibility her mobility places and getting her places so it's good for everybody plus me and my son probably two to three times a year just take a road trip somewhere and just do something with us with Sasha's anxiety and sensory on top of it you know we really have to pre-plan our trips where can we go and it's a well thought out process so she is going to stay home with my mom at my house for the weekend they're going to have a great time my mom loves to hang out and watch her anyway and me and my son are going down to the big city of New York City to see a concert. So good morning. You know what today is? Me and Josh go to New York City for a little bit. What do you think? I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, but you know what? I always come back, don't I? What are you gonna do with Grandma? Watch a movie over almost. Watch a movie and get some pizza? You know what? Do you want a kiss? So, so like this is my dream to have one of these in my house. It's one of these light up mirrors and it lights up on the side. It's amazing. So how would you say your weekend's going so far? Fantastic. So is it nice to have like alone time once in a while? No, us? not really. Do you have a 19 year old? I'm sure you can relate. Legal Kinder Eggs, not in Connecticut, but New York City for sure. So somebody had to pick up a whole bunch of them because he's like this big kid. And we got some Mexican treats and planktons and everything else. Yummy. Walking. Josh took us on the subway, the complete opposite direction of what we need to be doing, and we almost rode to Coney Island and then come back an hour. I think it's coming the right way. Thank gosh some New Yorker helped us, right, buddy? Yeah. Nothing left of it.
What are you doing, Josh? Wouldn't be New York City without feeding your extra bread to the pigeons. Like, they're going like mad cakes here. Oh my gosh. What do you think? So I am back home now at my house and it was a really long weekend and I inserted clips. We went to City Field, which is Mets Field down in New York City and we saw a concert. We saw One Republic and Zach Brown, who was a country band. So if you like those, that's who we saw. It was a good time. It's just, like I said, mental health is a good thing. We live in such a small area. It's just nice to get out and see not the same sites, same people, because literally when we came back into town, it was kind of funny. It's like, oh, there's that person, there's that person's truck. Like, we live in that small town, and everybody knows each other. And it's just, New York City is just a whole different ballpark. And I took you guys with me to the 9-11 Museum Memorial. My son had seen it before, but we kind of do this thing where we say to our, our each other like what's the like what's one or two things you really want to do on your list what's one or two things I really want to do so we kind of meet in the middle and we do those things because if you are been to New York City there are so many things to do so 9-11 the memorial in the museum was huge on my list I haven't gone I was one of those people people who tragically saw it on TV and watched the whole thing unfold I know people that were down there on that day. I know somebody who actually did make it that was a friend of a friend. And it's, it's, it's a horrible process to go through. And my son warned me before I went in there that it's gonna be very emotional. I was like, no, I'm tough as a rock. And as soon as you went in this place where you couldn't videotape and you saw all the names and ages and what they did and where, and, and just the pictures of them and you know, burnt shoes and you know the wallets that they found and, and notes in their pockets and it's just it's all there and it's so raw I, I like could never ever go back there I highly recommend it as going one time through because it's so well done and it's definitely worth seeing but literally I probably cry 15 minutes while I was in there and it just it gets so emotional and it gets so raw and just the voices of the people that were there that day and the video footage and the artifacts is really intense so we are home now and thanks for hanging out with us and I had a great break and I'm super exhausted so I'm gonna leave you here and talk to you later bye so we're gonna show everybody what mom got you in New York City pull it down okay so it's like this frozen type nightgown type really long shirt so do you like frozen and like literally the I've seen a movie of it. Get out of here. I haven't. You have. So she was pretty excited that I brought that back from the city for her because anything frozen, get pretty excited about, don't ya? What do you think? You ready for bed? Yeah, I'll go close the door. Good night. Good night.